Hey, time for a little fast take where we break down the stories making waves on Wall Street. Electric vehicle maker and self-proclaimed Tesla killer Neo featured on 60 Minutes last night where the founder and CEO referred to his company as, quote, the ticket to a new lifestyle and showed off the lavish perks that come with the brand. Those perks ranging from access to an exclusive social network for Neo drivers and private clubs. Neo shares soaring off that interview up 10 percent today to its highest level since shortly after its September IPO. And the stock is up around 40 percent this year, handily beating Tesla, which is down around 10 percent. Tim. Well, I think Neo is certainly it's an interesting story. There's absolutely competition. We knew that. I, I don't think they are really short term competition for Tesla. In fact, uh, Tesla's competition is itself right now. But we I'll save that for another segment. Uh, bottom line, Neo's expected to, they say they're going to do 40, 45,000 cars this year. Uh, I think the big key is their second generation battery, which is supposed to come out in the third or possibly early fourth quarter. And these are going to be the signs that this is a real credible competitor to the Tesla uh, mystique, because it's really what I think this is. And I think at this valuation, I don't think this company's terribly interesting either. Uh, but I do think it tells you there's competition. You know, this one had a $9 billion market cap, and they only sold 10,000 cars last year. In a right. massive, massive market, though, is really a call on electric vehicles in China. Because think about it, if you watch that 60 Minutes bit, they're telling you that their Tesla killer, their, their SUV, is $60,000 versus, say, $100,000, $120,000 for the Model X that has to be shipped there and has a lot of tax on So to me, you know, the, the addressable market is massive. There's massive incentives from the government for this to work in China. Um, I'd rather take a flyer on NIO than this one. This stock has been in a tight range between six and eight for five months since its IPO after its initial pop. It just broke out today. I think you know where your stop is. It's $8 to the downside. Is, is this like Tesla, I don't know, eight years ago? Yeah, that's what people want to believe. Look, I don't think it's a Tesla killer. It is a, it's a compliment to it. I mean, in that story, the, even the CEO admitted, said, listen, Tesla's the aspirational brand. Not everybody can afford that. I'm going to hit this market. It's a huge market. They can both exist together. And I, I, I do view this, I think Dan's 100% right. It is a call option. Size it appropriately. If they get it right, you've got a call option on the EV market in China. That's pretty big. And that's what probably people said about the Tesla investment years ago, right, in this market. Tesla, if they can produce those cars, it's a call option on the electric, electric mm -hmm. vehicle market in the United States. Same thing there. They still ran up against, can they produce those cars? Can they produce them, uh, you know, with a decent, at a decent cost? Can they do it for 35? Can, they do can it? it be a mass market car? Can which, they tap the capital bar? I mean, the same questions will come up, no? Can the stock, can the stock double or triple in the in meantime? In the meantime, like, I mean, as I think Tesla shares did, by BK, the way. Okay, that was a, you put it in the drawer, the Tesla. Yeah, top Tesla. Factory in a box. Yes, right. Well, right. In the drawer, but. But Tesla... Tesla is like a venture capital deal, and this probably is the same type of thing, right? You're making a long-term bet on a big change out there. Yeah. Where do you I have some, I, quickly, you know, there was a great Clint Eastwood movie called Firefox, and he, he steals this Russian plane, but he had to think in Russian to make the missiles work. And if you watch that last night, you could make the little thing on the dashboard the work. Avatar. But you had to speak in Chinese. It was a fascinating thing. It would be a miserable car for me. It wouldn't do a lot of good things. But for the driver and the passenger last night, it was fascinating. Firefox, by the way, great movie.